Happy New Year, everyone. Happy this New is Year. Brian Pitzer and Matt Hartman from the Northern Angler in Traverse City, Michigan. What We've are your resolutions, oh. resolutions for this year? Oh, I don't know. You got any good ones? Uh, you know, I'm doing the dry January thing. Good for you. Yeah. Other than that, What's in plan to fish more, <laughs> a little coffee, oh, just little checking, dock just boards, <laughs> rum bar and grill. Definitely not rum in it. Nah, not today. No. So, no, I, I plan on doing a little bit more warm water fishing. I've got nice. some spots in mind. I want to try out some trout this year. Uh, you know. I want to fish after work a little bit more. Yeah, take that time yeah. that we have and, yeah. and take advantage of that daylight we have all summer. Yeah, I want to get Hank trained up. You, you guys have probably seen the new puppy. He's really cute. I want to get him trained and comfortable in the boat. Yeah, that's that's, a good th that's the big one probably for me. Those so. are good. Those are good good goals. Yeah. So we have some winter hours coming up. You want to tell us about that? Yeah, absolutely. We're changing to winter hours, and that'll probably run into April. And what we're going to do is Monday through Friday, we're open regular hours, 9 to 6. And then on Saturday, we're closing an hour early, so 9 to 5. And then Sundays, we're going to be closed. Yeah, we usually start opening back up Sundays in April. So, yep. yeah. Yeah, pay attention to the change. Uh, look for that. But it should give everybody enough time. And if you need something desperately on Saturday, let us know. Absolutely. If you can't make it here. So, no big deal. Uh, what else do we got going on? Oh. Flies at the Franklin is this the coming Saturday. Is the calendar filling up, though? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the calendar is filling up. Yeah. So, we're looking at uh, spring dates are starting to fill up pretty quickly. So, if you're looking uh, for... Late March, uh, late April dates, uh, call right away. If you, we still have a few openings during that first two weeks of April, which are fantastic steelhead dates. Uh, spring steelhead's kind of fast and furious, and then we transition yeah. right into streamer fishing for trout, and then next thing you know, it's the end of May, and we're, you know, solidly chasing bugs uh, on the surface. It goes so quick. It does. Every winter seems to go quicker here, and I think it's because we all these events we've been doing. So. We do. We have a lot of events yeah. packed in for you guys. So we we're I trying to we do a lot have more. One, we got one coming up Monday, don't we? Monday night, Flies at the Franklin with Russ Madden. So Russ is going to be tying his uh, world-famous hex fly. It's actually a pretty super secret <laughs> hex fly. Yeah, I'm, Im I'm impressed. I'm he's, impressed he's that he's tying a drive even, uh, for us, honestly. Unlock <laughs> that, that key. Give us the key. Usually Russ that. is, you know, the streamer guru, um, well-known, and he's he's got his own language. He's very entertaining. Absolutely. Uh, but it's going to be fun to see him tie a dry fly, I think, this year. And here's some. I'm sure he's going to have some great stories from fishing them, too. So Absolutely. Yeah. So that's this coming Monday night. Uh, we'll start setting up down there around 6. Uh, it runs about 6.30 to 8.30. Stop on by, even if you don't want to tie. They have great food, probably, I don't know, the Wiener Schnitzel's got to be one of my favorites yeah. there on yeah, the menu. Yeah, I like the burgers are good. They got that burgers are burger, great. which yes. is really good. Yeah. yeah, so stop on by, have some great food. And those are every other Monday. Right. January and February. And then uh, I think, who do we got? We have a week after. What we, week after that, we have John Ray. Ooh, that's right. So that's going to be a What's good he one. Tying? He's tying up some popper stuff, which okay. is going to be great for musky, pike, and smallmouth. And then after that, we have Kevin Feenstra. Oh, steelhead guru. Steelhead guru from the well Muskegon. Well-known Muskegon guide. He's yep. going to share some of his insights with uh, swing flies. Yep, and then we got Corey Golden, I think. Absolutely. Local tire. President of our uh, president of local TU. TU. Yep, yep, new president. And he's going to take us probably back in time. He really likes doing those classic Michigan dry flies. Do we have to and address him at, as Mr. President? We'll have to check on that. Yeah, we'll, we should, we we'll should. let you know. We'll get back to you on that. Do we have to plan ahead for security or anything? I don't, I don't know. know. He might have a security detail. Uh, we'll let him take issue. care of that. Yeah. And yeah. then <laughs> what other what other things do we have going on well, on Monday we wanted, nights? We wanted to fill the gaps this year. So Flies at the Franklin is every other Monday. And we've been talking for years about having a more social event. So this year we're going to do Bugs and Brews. It's going to be at Silver Spruce Brewing over on 8th Street here in Traverse. And it's going to stagger with Flies at the Franklin. So we'll have Flies at the Franklin the 6th, and then we have Bugs and Brew the 13th, and then every other. So there's going to be an event every Monday night, January through February. That should help us get through the winter. Uh, it's going to go fast. So what that is, you know, it starts similar time, 6 o'clock over at Silver Spruce, and just bring a vice, materials. You can tie whatever you want. There's no real direction. It's kind of just a fun social event to get together, beat that cabin fever. Absolutely. Now what, Matt, what if I'm not a good tire already? 
What do we have? Ooh, we got a bunch of classes going on. Okay. When do those start? Classes, classes start this coming week, and you can contact us here at the shop or look up dates on our website, thenorthernangler.com. Um, you know, we may we may actually add more classes. Always, if you're interested, let us know. We're sure. always flexible with that. So we have 101 classes. We have intermediate classes. We have and we have a room. bunch of different stuff. Yeah, tons of room for it here, and we do it here at the shop. So it's convenient after work hours. Um, it's nice because we have all the materials right here for everyone. Yeah, and if you enroll in the class, you get a 10% discount. On, on all, all your, your tying tools, stuff, yeah. Materials, yeah. You need a new vice. That's pretty helpful. It Super is. Helpful. And you can try out tools and vices before you go out and buy. Why don't I just watch a YouTube video and learn how to tie a mat? You can do that, but there's there's not, I can't give you feedback through a YouTube video. You know, if, if you're doing one little thing different with your thread. Proportions. Yeah, proportions, thread control, all these things that are really tough to communicate through a YouTube video. We love putting out YouTube videos. Yes, and we, we do. We really thank you all for watching them. It's a lot of fun. It's It's been a creative outlet for me and Brian and all, everybody that's been working on them. But we can serve you better in a one-on-one, -on -one, in a classroom environment. And that's why you should think about taking a class. So what Fantastic. else? I think we got another big event coming up in March. Absolutely. Right? Kind of the close out of the yeah. winter. Yeah, kind of the you know. bring in uh, bring, bring in, in spring. spring. Absolutely. Yeah. We have the fly fishing film tour at the City Opera House. Um, tickets will be on sale at the City Opera House here in the next couple of weeks and we will have posters and flyers and all that. That's uh, Friday, March Friday, 6th. Friday, March 6th. Mark Doors your calendars. Open at six. Yep. Film start at 7. We'll have all kinds of great door prizes as usual. It'll be a super fun celebration so we look forward to, you know, See I'm you excited. this winter. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a fun event for us. We see a lot of our customers that we haven't seen all winter. Get I out of the house. I assume you're all hibernating. Uh, <laughs> we miss you. Please come back. Uh, we don't blame you, though. Northern Michigan is rough in the winter. Uh, but I watched the preview last night. It's pretty exciting. They got tarpon, pike, huge trout, you know, all the, all the staples and some really cool stories that are told through video so it, it always gets me excited to get out there and go streamer fishing or start tying Hendrickson's and go find a few fish rising Absolutely. early spring so um, get your tickets early you know we don't want them to sell out they rarely do but again as Brian said City Opera House has them and we do that just so there's no confusion of where where the tickets are coming from who has them it's just easier they do an awesome job at that venue and it just makes it easier for us too absolutely yep so absolutely well it Anything actually we is a requirement from them that they sell that's, the tickets that's true so yeah okay <laughs> that's why we can't sell that's them on true. the that's true everybody gets angry website. At us. <laughs> so no it's a requirement that's okay it's worth it it's, <laughs> it's worth totally it. worth yep. it Anything else we missed? Um, I don't think so. I hope hope everyone has a happy uh, 2020. We're looking forward to it. And, we're really uh, excited. And we're super excited. Yeah. We've got lots and of great things going on here at the shop. And as always, we'll have the, the best in gear and uh, and knowledgeable staff. Yeah. So Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, hope to see you in 2020. If we can help make your resolutions a reality, let us know. Yeah, stop on by. All right. See you, everybody.